if you know any history, she retired. Today's adventure brings us to the Deschutes Historical Museum, open Tuesdays through <laughs> Saturdays. Oh my God, this bird just almost crapped on me. Anyway, um, it's not quite open yet. Here it is. Um, so let's go back to the car real quick. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. That's right. So I am raw dogging it. I believe that's the term that they use. Wink, wink. Um, but I have a flimsy case on my phone and I figured I have insurance. So if anything happens, you know, <laughs> I could get replaced. Anyhow, I'm back in the car because um, it's cold and I'm just waiting for them to open. But I'm so excited to show you this place. I haven't been here in probably decades. Um, you know, when you live in a town, you tend to not go to all the touristy things. But here we are. I am doing some research on a couple of videos. So hopefully this mic situation works out. I'm very excited. Um, I think they're going to open up right now. Um, I don't... You guys are my time. Anyway, uh, let's go in, shall we? Okay, they just opened. So we're going to go back in go right in but I first wanted to show you some of the stuff on the outside here first of all look at this tree it is amazing and then another thing I noticed was over here and I've never noticed this before and I wonder if there's anything gonna be about these pictures on this building in the historical society So I walked to the other side of the building to see what this is all about. That's kind of cool. And I wanted to show you something. I just wanted to show you the big sign that's over here. Um, and those rocks are just so cool. But anyway, let's, uh, let's walk around the building and see what else we can see. This building has a moniker that says 1914 and it's the Reed School. I don't know too much about that. I know the Ben High School is built behind that building I just showed you. This is where the Ben High School used to be a long time ago. Here we can just see the backside of it. We'll do a video about that later. On the side of this building, we are seeing some tools, I guess. What is this? Is that, that's a furnace. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Why is my camera doing that? Um, and they got cute little birdhouses up here. <laughs> the little things that I love. Let's check out what's going on back through here. Here's the back side of the building. Not the backside of water. <laughs> Tough jokes today. Um, but yeah, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous building. Wow. And look at this. It's called the Community Beauty by Jenny Ellsworth, 2018. Who's where you talk today? But here it is. It is a, it is a beauty. It has some cool agates or crystals. That is cool. Sorry about the sun glare. So here's a little plaque out front that explains the Reed School. It is very cool. Built in 1914 on the Register of Historic Places. Nice. guys I just became a member because look how cool this place is for one plus it was only $25 so but they have archives of all the newspapers here so I can do my research on a bunch of things and look at this I don't know what year this one is but it was just sitting here on the table oh July 
1962. Look at the prices and stuff. I don't want to turn the pages because maybe someone's, you know, doing some research. That is so cool. Here we go. Okay, the first exhibit we're going to is the bicycle and mountain bike exhibit. Mountain biking is very big here. There are so many trails, but yeah, one cool thing I can't wait to show you. Let me get over here. This place is so cool. This is a small exhibit, but it's wonderful. And I'm so excited to show you someone that's actually in this um, museum and tell you a little bit about him because <laughs> he was a good friend. Anyway, so this is talking about the bike races around here in the 80s. And look how cute this is. Cute. Oh my God. Stop it, Lisa Marie. Look at the trophy. <laughs> it's so fun. These are pretty cool. The Diamondback from the 1980s mountain bike. They haven't really changed that much except for maybe more shocks and stuff like that. But that's pretty cool. I wonder how heavy they are. Specialized stump jumper. This is one of the most famous mountain bike trails around here. Bill's Trail. And this is about Bill. I'm sorry I don't know too much about this kind of stuff. But that's why we're here to learn. This is pretty cool. Look how cool this is, this quilt is, with all the different mountain bike t-shirts from back in the day. That is so cool. Here's who I wanted to show you guys. This, this is Bob Woodward. This man is amazing. He's done so many things. But he would direct me in his plays. And I, I used to do theater a lot. And um, he would always put me in his plays, even though I was horrible at it. But this is a little bit about him. Here. This is an exhibit of the birth of the highway of 97. Oh, wow, that's really cool. I know, okay. Good road association sites. Well, that's really cool. Nice to meet you! This is a great picture of Bend, um, downtown Bend. It is looking north. The Liberty Theater is still there. I love when they would advertise on brick, and there is still some around town. I'll take you guys to someday, but you can still kind of see them around town. Most of it's gone because of progress, but... Yeah, and this is what the map looked like back in 1948. This is wild. It's crazy. Here's a little information. This is cool. They used to have a pageant in Ben on the 4th of July. Here you can read about it. I've always wondered what happened to the swans. 
I guess we'll figure it out sometime, but they would <laughs> parade them on the swans in the river right downtown. How cool is that? So cool. How fun. Now I've taken you guys here to the Peterson's Rock Garden. This is what it used to look like. Um, I'll try to link the video. It is so cool. It got um, sold and someone bought it and they're redoing it. So I'm, I'm not sure if it's open anymore, but if it is, we should go back. And I didn't know about this. So this is something we might go check out. I've seen like some weird dinosaurs before, like on the roadside. They say they're still there. Um, but I wasn't sure what that was about. So I'm excited. We're going to go check this out. Oh, look at how cool all the swag you can get from Peterson's Rock Garden. Oh. These are from the 1940s to the 60s. Okay, I've taken you guys here. Um, it's not there anymore. I know that sounds confusing, but um, we went there when we went and got our burrito. I'll try to link that video too. Um, but it was a giant inn. This is what it looked like. Where presidents stayed and everyone stayed here. This was like the fancy hotel. This is so cool. I'll link that video. It's a, just a small little blip, but still interesting. And here's more about it. Pretty cool. Now here is something I'm excited to do. Um, it is, I don't know if you guys know who she is, that's Klondike Cake. If you know any history, she retired here in Bend. And here's some personal belongings. How cool is that? But this is who she was. She was an entertainer in the Gold Rush era. Um, here's a little bit about her. We're going to do a whole video on this. I'm excited. Okay, let's go upstairs. There's four more rooms. There's a lot here. Obviously, I'm not going to show everything because we'd be here for 20 hours. But this is so cool. I'll show you the highlight. Go into this room first. Isn't this cool? Here's some of the movies that were filmed here. That is cool. Oh, look at that movie camera. Oh. How could I miss this? <laughs> Here's a little bit about it. This is so cool. Wow. Well, that's really cool. The building that they used uh, was this building 
for the movie Up the Creek. It was the frat house. That is really cool. Here's some more of the stills. We're going to have to watch that movie now. The pageant was very invested in by almost every business and every service club and service organization in town. So the, the Lions, the Elks, those kinds of service clubs, all of them sponsored the team. And each business would invest in their own float. And over time, it grows to be quite competitive. And um, some, some businesses would hire people to work specifically on their float to build it and, and really go all out. But both mills, Brooks Scanlon, Shevlin Hickson, each would have their own. Um, community organizations would have their own. The Red Cross was always present uh, in the really early years, the first, the first version of the Japanese American Society of Central Oregon had a couple of floats pre-World War II. So that car, or buggy, is a Holzman motor buggy. Here's some information on it. Check out the engine. It is a uh, four cylinder, 10 horsepower <laughs> engine. That is so cool. Let's see. Um, it was first bend owned vehicle. Oh, wow. That's so cool. This is pretty cool. It's the Reed School Master Clock. And underneath the clock is the one horse open sleigh built for Dean Hollinshead and used for house calls by Dr. Churter. Because remember, that one was the first vehicle in Bend. So for them to get around, especially in the snow, because I don't think that's a really good snowworthy car, <laughs> they had to use this. That is so cool. One of the biggest industries in Bend was the mills. They created a lot, a lot of jobs here. Um, when I first moved here, the, the sawmills were still open. A lot of this was closed down. But I always thought it was quite strange. There was this bar that everyone would go to after work and they would work the night shift. And it, in Oregon, you can't start drinking until seven. So there's this bar right by where I used to live. And I would always see a ton of cars there. And I didn't understand why people were drinking so much at 7 a.m. Figured it out later. But yeah. This is really, really cool. This is amazing. Here, you can read a little bit about it. But these are hand-carved railroad farm and logging models. All out of wood. This is so cool. Don't see them like this anymore. Here's some of the lumber companies. 1,500 employees. Wow. This is from the Ben Commercial Club. That's cool. Now this company had 1,400 employees. Wow, it was big business here. 
big, big business. Here's some furniture and stuff from back in those days. Look at that stove. Wow. Cool. This is an awesome idea. <laughs> the embroidered guest tablecloth. That is so cool. Here are all the names. That are on here, but look at this love, love wolf one. What a great name, love wolf. This is really cool. Side Bingham, he served as one of the earliest forest rangers in Oregon's Cascade Range. That's what he, um, some of his duties and stuff. But his, um, he is famous for carving trees and documenting his travels through the Cascade. Over 22 trees have been identified to date, including his name, title, date, and various remarks. Side Bingham trees can still be found in the woods today. And this is what it looks like. That would be so cool to go find some. Now, you guys remember when we um, went to that Eastern Island bar? Well, it was in this area. That's what it used to look like. It doesn't look like that anymore. It looks like Sephora, <laughs> shopping, movie theaters, all the fun things. This is cool. This is uh, medical stories from the archives, quarantine, twin, and moonshine. Let's go in. The Great Influenza. The flu and smallpox. Yeesh. That's the way it was handled. The whole community had to pitch in and help. All the whole community. And that was wonderful. Well, look at this. An oxygen machine. This is Miss Hofsetter. She operated her own hospital in Redmond. Wow. Had nurses on the center. Wow, that's amazing. Now, this is really interesting because this was open while I lived here for a long time, and I have never noticed it or seen it, but it's um, Wong's Herbs. It operated in Bend from 1938 to 2002. I've never even heard of this. Almost fine for that is crazy. Here's some information of the two generations of healing Wong's herbs. Interesting. We gotta go find that too. Oh lordy. Oh look, we got the sisters. I'm actually filming this on Good Friday, so it's very appropriate. But here, this is so cool. So. When Chris and I go dirt bike riding, or when we did, we haven't gone in a while, we would go out to this one pit where it used to be a dump. And you can still, to this day, find old medicine bottles out there. That's really cool. They built over the dump in Bend, the original dump. They built a housing development. Um, so I don't... I mean, I'm sure you can probably dig, like, around that development and find something, but probably not. It's probably all gone. Oh, 
The place I'm talking about is in Redmond, but I think it's closed now. I'm correct. That's why we haven't been out there. We're doing some developments. This is quite interesting about the statue. I mean, the statue was presumed stolen and found broken in a canal? And then it sat in storage after it got put back together. Here, look at him. Let's get a better look. He's been put back together quite well. Hello there. So this is really cool. Um, we have a baseball team here called the Bend Elks. And it is so fun. We need to go to a game this year. But this is their uniforms and stuff from the 1950, 1900s to the 1950s. How cool is that? Look at those uniforms. They almost look like they're made out of wool or something. I don't think so. It's probably cotton. I get things wrong all the time. <laughs> and then we have 1970s to 2020. So fun. Wow, that was so cool. Um, hopefully that doesn't make any noise. I, this museum had so much stuff. It's a lot of reading, so I just tried to show you like some of the cool things to see, you know, because I know it's kind of hard to pause uh, and read sometimes. But um, this gave me so many new ideas. Like I came in with an agenda and I got some of that, but I have so many more ideas. This is awesome. Um, I became a member <laughs> and I am officially gonna probably live here for the rest of my life because there's so much to see so many different archives they let you look at at things i'm just excited um anyway it's time to go to lunch plugging in my microphone made my battery die really quick so <laughs> um i'm we're gonna go film just a little bit but i think we're gonna take the food back home so we can try it because i'm kind of in a vegetable rut and I need to try something new. So we're going to that raw cafe that I showed you not that long ago. Here we are. Salud. Let's go in. Well, we're back in the car. All I got was a juice. The menus I was looking at were online and I guess they're old menus. And then when I was walking up to the door, I noticed that it's for sale. So I don't know what's going on in there, um, but I wasn't gonna pay eighteen dollars for raw tacos that I make delicious ones at home. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's try the juice. Super good. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, please like, subscribe, and share if you don't mind. I'd really appreciate it, and I'm excited for what's gonna happen on this channel. There's so much stuff. Oh, it's just going to be good. Until next time. Bye. Mwah.